Since he was young, Nick grew up in a pretty peculiar environment. His mother works at a cabaret, so he often spends time with her mother's co-workers. Moreover, Nick doesn't have a good father figure to guide him, so he sees his mother's boss as his role model. As a result, Nick becomes an adult that treats women as nothing more than an object. However, since Nick has a lot of experience with women, he knows how to talk with them. Before going to his office, Nick manages to sway a local waitress, Lola, to go on a date with him. Nick's skill is remarkable as it doesn't take long to convince Lola, just a moment after she refuses him. Upon arriving at his office, Nick shows his social skills as many female co-workers greet him warmly. Many people are talking about Nick's upcoming promotion, which he expects. When Nick meets his boss, the boss commends his outstanding performance. However, Nick's boss reveals that he will hire a woman named Darcy to fill the position that was supposed to be Nick's. The boss explains that their company needs a woman to promote their product to the women's market. Upon hearing the news, Nick expresses his disbelief and disappointment. Later that day, Nick goes to his ex-wife's wedding ceremony. When he meets Gigi, his ex-wife, she tells Nick to take care of their daughter, Alex. Since Gigi and her new husband are going to spend their honeymoon, Alex will live with Nick for two weeks. After that, Nick returns to his office and attends a welcoming ceremony for Darcy. While many admire Darcy, Nick annoys her with his cocky attitude. At the end of the meeting, Darcy gives everyone a box containing women's products. She tells her new co-workers to try them out and broaden their knowledge about women. After trying those items, she wants everyone to come up with an idea of how to advertise those women's products. Later at night, Nick has to be professional, so he decides to open the box. Before trying those products, he tries to set the mood by borrowing a music CD from Alex's backpack. As he tries each product, he surprisingly learns a lot about women's needs from these products. But when Nick is about to wear a women's undergarment, Alex suddenly shows up with Cameron, her boyfriend. After Cameron leaves, they get into a father-daughter argument. Alex vents her anger at Nick because he never listens to her. As Nick cannot remember Cameron's name, Alex rushes to her room and slams the door. Nick is confused and tries to remember the boy's name. When Nick is thinking with a hairdryer in his hand, he accidentally trips his legs. He falls into a bathtub full of water and gets electrocuted by the hairdryer. Shortly after, Nick falls unconscious and drops to the floor. The following morning, Nick wakes up when the housekeeper enters his apartment. To Nick's surprise, he is able to hear the housekeeper's thoughts. When Nick goes outside, he finds himself hearing many women's thoughts. In a panic, Nick almost bumps into his co-worker, who happens to think of ending herself. However, it doesn't concern Nick much since he has too much to process. When Nick enters his office, he learns that many female co-workers think of him as a fool and despise him. Upon learning the true opinion of those around him, Nick feels insecure and anxious. Nick tries to explain his odd situation to his friend, Morgan, but Morgan doesn't believe him. In a meeting with Darcy and the others, Nick hears their bad opinion about him. He tries to overturn the situation by reading others' minds and stealing their ideas. But sadly, it doesn't end up in Nick's favor. When Nick returns to his apartment, he catches Alex messing out with Cameron. Nick hears Alex's thoughts about how she dislikes her father. Because of that, Nick expresses his disagreement with Alex and Cameron's relationship. After Cameron leaves, they get into another father-daughter argument, and their relationship worsens. Later that night, Nick notices a flash of lightning in the sky. He decides to repeat everything he did the previous night, hoping to undo his current ability. After going through each product, Nick grabs the hairdryer and holds it while he stands on the balcony. Thunder suddenly strikes Nick's hairdryer, and he drops unconscious. Nick wakes up the following day on his sofa and finds himself still alive. He rushes to go outside, hoping to find out whether he still has the ability or not. However, he doesn't find any women in front of his building, so he goes to another place. Upon arriving at a cosmetic shop, Nick thinks he has lost his ability. However, his celebration ends midway as he hears the thoughts of two women with disabilities. Shortly after, the thoughts of the women around flooded into Nick's mind. In desperation, Nick visits Dr. Perkin for help. Dr. Perkin was Nick and Gigi's counselor whom they visited years ago. Thinking that Perkin is an expert, Nick explains his predicaments of being able to hear women's thoughts. However, Perkin also thinks that Nick is a fool, so she tries to send him off to another doctor. Before Perkins makes the call, Nick's proves his ability to read Perkin's thoughts. Dr. Perkin is shocked to learn about Nick's ability, but she is also excited. When Perkin asks why Nick wants to remove his ability, Nick explains he is tired of knowing that most women think of him as a jerk. However, Perkin convinces Nick that he is the only man on earth with this miracle. Perkin states that Nick can rule the world by knowing what women want with his power. After hearing Dr. Perkin's advice, Nick begins to treat his ability as a gift. The following day, Nick visits Lola again and now learns that she is secretly into him. With this knowledge, Nick gains the upper hand and asks her out on a date. When Nick arrives at his office, he uses his skill to reconquer those who belittle him by mentioning her secret. Nick also pays attention to the girl who always thinks of ending herself. After learning that her name is Erin, Nick leaves her with a kind gesture. 
Nick then goes to Darcy's office and uses his ability to get close to her and learn about Darcy's business plan. When their boss shows up to ask their opinion, Nick uses his power to steal Darcy's opinion. Because of this, Nick impresses the boss, while Darcy is too late to state her idea. After their boss leaves, an assistant informs Nick that his daughter is on the phone. By talking nice to Alex on the phone, Nick manages to impress Darcy. After that, Nick and Darcy talk a bit about his daughter. When Nick mentions that his daughter is going to a prom, Darcy tells Nick that dress is the most important thing for his daughter. After leaving Darcy's room, Nick feels glad he can get rid of Darcy. When Nick returns to his apartment, he goes to Alex's room to talk. Nick hears some nasty comments from Alex's friends, so he resolves that by giving them what they want. On top of that, Nick asks Alex to buy a prom dress with him later. After Nick is done with his daughter, he goes out on a date with Lola. It turns out that the ability to know what women want also helps Nick to satisfy Lola's desire. Eventually, Lola falls deep into Nick's clutch. After that, Nick starts to master his ability and also proceeds with his plan to get rid of Darcy. He manages to get along with many women by understanding what they want. When Nick is discussing a project with Darcy, he spends a lot of time with her. Nick gets to know her more and even starts to sympathize with her. They talk about their first impression of each other and become more invested in one another. When reading Darcy's thoughts, Nick learns she is trying hard not to fall in love with her co-worker. Eventually, Nick asks Darcy out on a date with the pretext of talking about work. Later at night, Nick goes to Darcy's office as they two are the only workers in the building. By hearing her thoughts, Nick learns that Darcy is a lonely woman and that she is happy to see Nick. He offers to help with Darcy's work, and the two sit beside each other. As the night passes, they spend time together as more than just a co-worker. The following days, Nick and Alex go on a shopping trip. Nick helps his daughter choose a dress for her upcoming prom. The two get along quite well for the first time and spend quality time between a father and a daughter. Amidst the shopping, Nick hears Alex's thought of wanting to plug in her boyfriend's clarinet later on the prom night. That thought concerns Nick, so he tries to talk about it with Alex. However, Alex is annoyed when Nick begins to lecture her about doing it. Alex explains that Nick left an absent spot in her upbringing, so he doesn't have the right to lecture her about it. She also confronts Nick to stop suddenly trying to be a nice person and a good father to her. After expressing her annoyance towards her father, Alex decides to leave without even finishing her lunch. When Nick returns home, he gets emotional after thinking about his past mistake of not being a good father to Alex. Suddenly, Nick receives a call from Darcy. When Nick picks up the phone, he can tell that it is Darcy just by hearing the caller's thoughts. Darcy tells him that she was thinking about Nick, and Nick states that he also thinks of her. After that, the two go on a romantic date at a local bar. From their conversation, Nick learns that Darcy was once married, but her ex-husband doesn't love her. Darcy also reveals that she and her ex-husband used to be a co-worker. Because of that, Darcy is afraid to fall in love with another co-worker, as her last relationship doesn't work out. Darcy also tells Nick that she feels bad for taking the promotion that Nick was supposed to get. Darcy also states that she is afraid of not being able to fulfill her job. Since Darcy worked there, she hasn't managed to do anything significant for their company. Hearing all that, Nick feels bad for Darcy because he stole her idea and took credit for it. As Darcy expresses her admiration for Nick's work performance, Nick gets even more uncomfortable with guilt. After that, Darcy informs Nick that she has just bought her first apartment. When Nick expresses his admiration for Darcy, she suddenly kisses him. The two embrace each other as they begin to fall for each other. After the date, Nick says goodbye to Darcy. When Darcy is thinking of asking Nick to go to her place, Nick stops her by landing a kiss on her hand. When Nick arrives at his apartment building, he notices Lola is waiting outside. Lola is desperate because Nick hasn't even called her since their last date. As Nick tries to de-escalate the situation, Lola informs Nick that she knows about Nick's little secret. The way Nick knows how to stimulate her and understand everything she wants causes her to come up with speculation. Since Nick talks and thinks like a woman, Lola wants Nick to admit that he is into men. With no other choice, Nick lies to Lola by acknowledging that he is into men. By doing so, Nick manages to get rid of Lola's desperation and anxiety. The following day, Nick's guilt still haunts him, so he wants to make up. Nick asks Darcy to be the one to pitch the meeting with their potential business partner. However, Darcy refuses to do it as she doesn't want to take credit for Nick's work. Because of this, Nick feels even guiltier and can't do anything about it. Shortly after, Nick observes Aaron and listens to her sad thoughts. He sympathizes with her and plans to help her. Nick then asks his assistants about Aaron, and they tell him that Nick is the one who put Aaron into her current position. Knowing that he was the one who put Aaron in that uncomfortable spot, he tells his assistants to arrange a meeting with Aaron later. Shortly after, Morgan shows up and tells Nick to be ready for their important meeting. While walking with Morgan, Nick expresses his regret for what he did to Darcy. Nick even says he despises men for being insensitive and places himself as a woman. Since Nick has heard about many women's thoughts, he regrets seeing them as an object. He learns much about women and admits many flaws in men, including himself. After Nick delivers the presentation, 
he manages to seal the deal with a prominent business partner. As his boss and Darcy congratulate him, Nick feels guilty for stealing Darcy's idea. Because of that, Nick begins to write a confession letter to tell Darcy about everything he did. Before he finishes his letter, Darcy shows up at Nick's office with two bottles of wine to celebrate Nick's endeavor. Nick tries to deny the glory he gets today, so Darcy asks him to go out with her. Upon arriving at Darcy's new apartment, the two spend a romantic time together. Darcy then gives Nick a tour around the apartment as she is happy to have her own place. But since the apartment isn't furnished yet, they spend the time dancing in the empty bedroom. While dancing, Nick expresses his affection for Darcy, and she also feels the same. The following day, Nick meets his boss to talk about Darcy. While the boss praises Nick for saving the company's future, Nick insists that the boss should thank Darcy. However, the boss reveals that he has decided to fire Darcy and promote Nick instead. Hearing that, Nick expresses his frustration as his mistakes have just cost Darcy's future. Nick then forces his boss to rehire Darcy, or there will be a mess. After Nick admits that everything was Darcy's idea, his boss gives up and calls Darcy. After resolving Darcy's employment issue, Nick hears Aaron isn't coming to work today. After Nick notices that Aaron leaves all the files on her desk, he rushes to find where she lives. Nick knows Aaron has been thinking of ending her life, so he worries about her. When Nick can't find Aaron's address, he asks an old lady to guide him. The lady tells Nick to walk down an alley, and he stops right under electric cables. Suddenly, the lightning hits a nearby electric pole. Luckily, Nick survives that and continues his search unscathed. Upon arriving at Aaron's house, Nick knocks on the door, but there is no response. Nick then enters the house while calling Aaron's name. When Nick enters the bedroom, he is devastated to find Aaron's suicide note. However, Aaron suddenly shows up, and they are both shocked to see each other. While they talk, Nick notices that he has lost the ability to hear women's thoughts. However, losing such an ability doesn't make Nick sad at all. In fact, he is glad to be normal once again. Nick then tells Aaron he is glad to know she is okay. Nick expresses his concern for Aaron, and she is touched that Nick notices her predicament. After that, Nick tells Aaron that he plans to promote her to the position that she always desired. As a result, Aaron feels happy to hear that Nick is giving her a chance. After resolving Aaron's issue, Nick goes to Darcy's apartment. However, Darcy refuses to talk with Nick and ignores him outside. Later at night, Gigi calls Nick and informs him about Alex's calls. Nick rushes to the prom to find his daughter. After asking around, Nick finds Alex crying inside the lady restroom. Nick asks what happened to Alex, and she explains everything. It turns out that Cameron dumped Alex because she isn't ready to bonk yet. Nick then comforts his daughter and pulls her out of her sadness. After taking Alex home, Nick still has to resolve his issue with Darcy. Therefore, Nick decides to visit her apartment. Upon arriving at Darcy's place, Nick tells Darcy that their boss wants to rehire her. After that, Nick confesses to sabotaging Darcy's ideas and taking credit for those ideas. Nick tells Darcy about everything he did and admits his mistakes. Nick also expresses that he regrets everything and now falls in love with Darcy. After hearing Nick's confession, Darcy tells him that he is fired. Nick accepts Darcy's decision since he feels that he deserves that. Before Nick leaves the place, Darcy calls him back and tells Nick she also made a mistake in firing him, and now she will rehire him. Now that they are even, the two reconcile and express their love. Ultimately, Nick changes his view on women and makes amends for his mistakes. What do you think of this story? Write your comments below. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.